The heartbreaking images and stories we've seen and heard coming out of Illinois bring back tough memories for some in our area. NBC 15's Jalisa Irizarry is here to show us how some people are reflecting on their personal experience with a natural disaster. Well, Lee, EF2 and EF3 tornadoes hit Madison and Verona just last year. They damaged homes and the sense of security for some people in the area. I just screamed run and we felt like we were out running something. By the time we came out and looked outside, there were trees down everywhere and turned around and um, part of the roof was missing off the house. And that was the start to Nicole Howarth's disdain for severe weather. The mother of two saw the part of her house that once covered her three-year-old's bedroom completely exposed. There was absolutely no siren, no warning. We didn't know that there were storms coming. But the Madison resident is thankful three weeks of cleanup was all it took to get her house back in order. Considering it could have been so much worse that we were all upstairs and you know, as the roof was coming off. But the trauma from the incident. Especially having two young girls, um, you know, and I know that they're feeling anxious a lot of times with the weather. Is difficult for any tornado survivor to recover from. Dawn Sanderson and her children are also feeling the effects after last year's storm. I've been in the basement already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the kids have been a little worried. You know, I look out the blinds and make sure, you know, what, it doesn't look like what it did that night. And as both families watch the news out of Fairdale, Illinois unfold, they can't help but relate. I feel bad for them because it's going to be a long process. You know, it's going to be a lot of emotional roller coasters up and down, and it's a long process. You don't realize the power until it's that moment that you're in it, and it's overwhelming. Both families said the time frame to get things back in order is impossible to predict. While it took the Howards just three weeks to get everything fixed, a home on Yorkshire Street that was damaged from last year's tornado is still being rebuilt.